It's been two weeks since I started the Fortnite Battle Boss building, and finally, it's done. I tried to do as much detail as possible, like this little sapling with the propeller here that it actually rotates with the wind, and who knows what the hell is that doing actually for the boss to work, but I don't know, it has a lot of items here, like this thing and this pipe going into here, like I don't know what they do, but they're actually looking cool. So these are 3D printed like this. I think the balloon was one of the most complicated things to replicate from the boss because, I don't know, it has this blue thing. It doesn't look as I wanted to, that's what I could do. But the good thing is that this whole thing will fly and that's what we care about. So who cares about everything else? It looks cool, let's fly it now. But first I'm going to show you a short version of the building process. It all started with measurements. Remember that there is no instruction manual to build this, so I had to take a lot of measurements, taking as a reference pictures taken from the game. To build the main body I'm using foam board. This is an excellent material because it's cheap, strong and it's also easy to work with. Making the main body of the boss actually took me less than other parts, but when it was time to make the little details, it took me ages and a lot of patience. Then, I took some measurements to make the drone specially designed to fit this flying boss. I finished off some details of the front of the bus and then I started with the painting process. The next part is really important because it's in charge of making the magic happen the drone that will make possible the flight of the boss. I will use materials as simple as wood to build the frame. And all the electronics I'm using are already connected since I was using them before in a different drone. I'll only have to solder the wires to the new motors to make it work. I recommend watching my previous video on how to make a drone to understand this process better. Then I had to design some components to print them in 3D. I tried to make them as similar as possible, but I'm pretty sure they're not equal because I was doing these designs by just looking at pictures. The most complicated piece to design was this hook, or whatever it's called. But there are four of them in the bus, and they printed out well. Now it's time to paint this to give them some life. Now we put everything together, especially the multi-rotor and the bus. At this point we could say that we are halfway through. There are a lot of details that we'll still have to do. To build the cage, I used this aluminum rod for the top and bottom and some rubber tubings with wooden sticks inside for the sides of the cage. Now one of my favorite details of this build, the little zeppelin that holds a propeller. I used that small bearing to make it rotate smoothly.
finally I had a lot of problems with bad quality balloons. And when I finally found the good quality ones, the problem was to replicate the real balloon with that blue top held by ropes. So I just put this colored paper to make it look like that. After that, it was done. We went outside to make the first tests and it went very well. The next day we decided to go somewhere else to fly more, and so we did. So as you can see in the building process, I'm using this drone custom made for this bus. So it's a wooden frame and all the electronics that makes a drone fly. And I'm also using these uh, four blade propellers. And the cool thing about this is that the, everything is blue. The motors are blue and the propellers as well. So everything match this design. And so this works like a normal drone. I'm using a battery for S battery. Uh, the only thing I had to do is uh, deal with the weight of this because this is a little bit heavier than a drone my V. So I had to modify the PID settings or the PID tuning to make it uh, behave a little bit better. And now we put the battery. We have that little sweet sound. I'm using this cheap rudder control to control everything. So we're ready now to switch everything on, arm the motors and go to fly. There we go. That's the Fortnite Battle Boss flying right there. And it flies really cool. So if there was no wind today, so windy, it could fly better, but I'm happy with it. <laughs> Look, it's fighting against the wind. <laughs> because the, the giant balloon is taking all the, all the air. But when I go in the direction of the wind, it flies beautifully. Now I have to fight against the wind and it's not very good. <laughs> so if we go to a better place where there's no wind, we can fly better. But for now, it's, it's looking very good. Again, another low pass here. I almost crashed my wife in the face. Oh. <laughs> Looking at the real RC Fortnite Battle Boss flying, actually flying is really cool. But the wind is so strong now. But I wasn't very happy with those flights because it was very windy. So we went somewhere else where we could have some better shots of this bus. And this is what happened.
share the video with someone who likes playing Fortnite. And also consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next project.